Hey everyone, so I thought I would do a little holiday sort of get ready with me slash show you what I take on holiday beauty wise so that it's easier for you guys to know what you should bring on your holiday as well. So firstly, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Secondly, I'm going to show you how I get ready in terms of makeup for holidays because obviously you want it to be quick and easy. You don't want to be sitting there doing like a three hour makeup look when you should be enjoying the outside and the surroundings that you are in. I'll show you how to do a makeup look that is super easy, quick and also still really glam and looks like you spent hours on it. And I'll also show you a hairstyle that I do on holidays that is so easy to do. So yeah, let's get right into it. Firstly, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I'm going to link everything below so you know what and where I got this. So this is from the store AU and all my goodies are inside. So firstly, Rexona deodorant. It's a must. I always use the Summer Strength Clinical Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. I don't want any sweat, you know, leaving my body. So, um, yeah, I use this one and it's easy. It's not like um, the aerosol sprays, which you can't take on the plane anyway. It's just a cream and you use it under your arms and you're done. Next, I have been loving this facial spray. I got it just before I left and it's 118 mils so you can take it on the plane I believe you can't take anything over 150 mils so this is the perfect size um, and it's a Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and I got this from the store AU as well next my trusty oral B um, electric toothbrush I always bring this with me anywhere I go and I use it at home as well so that's a must. Next, dental floss. I always use the Oral-B satin tape because it is really thin and it gets in between those teeth. So that's the one I use at home and I just bring that with me as well. Next, I'm just gonna go through a few masky things that I bring with me all the time. I always bring a makeup remover. I brought this, it's the Derma Clear from Dr. Jart micro makeup remover and they're just like little pads and they have like a moisturizing milky formula in them. I use these um, taking off my makeup like after a long day of you know traveling around and I really like these. Eye patches. Eye patches are a must especially when you're traveling to hydrate the skin around your eyes and these are the five minute hydro gels from Patchology. You can get these at Mecca. The next mask I use is a flash mask, five minute facial sheet masks. These hydrate the skin. These are also from Patchology, from Mecca. And hydration when you're traveling is so important, especially because traveling and airplanes dry your skin. So these are definitely a must. So the skincare that I take with me is the skincare that I use at home. These are the three items that I took with me this time. What I would use during the day is the vitamin C serum. These are all from Drunk Elephant from Mecca. I love this stuff. It's so good. I can't not go on holidays without it. So I definitely have to bring these things. This is the Virgin Maracula Luxury Facial Oil. I love this, especially, you know, going around in hot countries and where there's a lot of sun. I love oils to just moisturize my face. Um, and also, this is a hydration gel from Drunk Elephant as well. And this just keeps my skin really hydrated. You can take them on the plane as well. And skincare is so important. I'm not going to leave these at home for whatever reason. I have to keep these with me. I also bring a really hydrating serum as well. This is a concentrate, Tula Sara Bright Concentrate from Aveda. And this stuff really keeps my skin really hydrated as well. So I always use those three in conjunction for a lot of hydration for the skin and the vitamin C just for brightening and firming throughout the day. The other places you need to keep hydrated are lips and eyes. So for my eyes, I always bring clear eyes from Murine. Eye hydration is very important when you're flying as well. And also my Nutri Lip Balm from Sisley. This is my favorite. As you can see, I'm nearly out of it. So I'm 
gonna have to get a new one soon. Another thing that I brought on this trip is this works deep sleep stressless little roll on thing. Oh, it smells amazing and what I did is I used it on the plane, helped me sleep throughout the flight and also you can just use it you know to help relieve jet lag. So another little thing that I brought with me on this holiday is the Bioterry T to Tan face and body spray and this is just amazing. You can leave it as it is and it will just give you a nice tan or you can shake it up and it will also give you a nice shimmer. I have been loving this this trip. It's just been making my skin glow, especially like going out to dinners and stuff. I just wanted to mention this mask because when I've been doing a lot of swimming, at the beginning of my trip I was doing a lot of swimming, so all I would do is literally go for a swim, have a shower, wash it, leave it wet and put this in it. I wouldn't even worry about blow drying or anything. So if you see, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen that um, during my time in the Maldives, all I did was have my hair in a slick back bun and how I would do that is get out of the shower, brush it and put this in. Literally nothing else. I definitely suggest, and you're doing a lot of swimming, take a mask with you and just keep applying it because it's going to create a barrier in between the sun and your hair and also the seawater or chlorine um, between your hair and it won't damage it as much and get as dry as you know it usually would, which I noticed my hair has been pretty good this trip. It hasn't been dry especially since it's blonde so I need to be really really careful. So I'm now going to show you how I do my makeup on holidays. I'm just going to remove the makeup that I have and I'm going to use these Dr. Jart Dermaclear makeup removers. They just come out like that and you just literally wipes off everything on your skin. There you go. Then what I'm going to apply next is the Luxury Facial Oil by Drunk Elephant. So I just use a few drops and I just rub it in all over the face. As I am in quite a hot climate, I just use my professional mattifying matte rescue and I literally just apply these to the areas that tend to get oily. Mm -hmm. So the foundation that I've been using is Cinnamon Sculpt Excellence by The Makeup Store. So this is my dark shade and I have been lucky enough that I've gotten a tan and this alone matches my whole body so I've been using this all over the skin and I just and then I just use a beauty blender to blend that all in so next I use NARS creamy radiant concealer and I just apply this just a little bit under the eyes and just in that middle there. A bit on the chin, down the middle of the nose, just to highlight the face. And again, I use the Beauty Blender just to blend it out. Next, I'm just gonna cream contour and I'm using the Tardiest Pro palette from Tarte. And I'm just using an hourglass double-ended brush. I'm using the shade Shade. Just use that and I just literally in those contours there really quick and easy. So next I'm just going to lightly powder down the face. I don't want to lose that glow that's going on. I just want to set those areas. And I'm using the Makeup Stores Glow Jewel Foundation in the colour Bangkok. And I'm literally just taking a Jakarta, these are Japanese brushes, and I'm just like literally patting it underneath the eye really quickly, not baking or anything, just in that middle there where I do tend to get oily, tad down the nose, just around the nose and the mouth area, and on the chin. Pretty much that's it. 
Then for glow, I've been using Laura Geller's Baked Gelato in the Caramel. And I just literally get those high points. Just get underneath that brow. And here as well. And same on the other side. And then down the nose there. And then I'm just going to switch it to another brush. This is just a smaller Morphe brush. And I just put it in the middle of the eye there. And then put it in the middle of that eye there. Just to brighten it up. And then just down the tip of the nose. So you're super glowy. For brows and lashes, I've cheated a little bit. I've got lash extensions and I also got my brows feathered. So if you don't have these things on a holiday, all you do is you fill in your brows as usual and apply mascara after you've done your eye makeup as usual. Easy as that. But what I do anyway is I use Ready Set Brow by Benefit and I just brush them up just to get any of that makeup out of the brows and just to set them in place as well. So I have my brows feathered before my trip so they're quite freshly done and they look quite full so I'm not too worried about filling these sparse areas I'm just like you know I just want to be ready to go out. Next I'm doing a really easy eyeshadow look. This is just a really good and easy trick for going out at night time. So this is Colourpop's Avalon Super Shock Cheek. It is a cream blush and I just use um, any sort of brush to apply it to my lids. Literally just apply this to the lid. Super rough. Look at that. And then I've been loving the shimmery shadows under the eye lately. I just think it makes the eyes sparkle a tad bit more. Going back into the tardiest Pro palette and I'm using the bronzer in Sculpt. And that's the eyes done. And just using that same palette again and I'm just bronzing up the cheeks and then for blush I'm just using California by Benefit just lightly apply that to the apples mm -mm. Mm -mm. then just a bit of my Sisley lip balm which kind of looks like a gloss but it does feel like a lip balm And that is literally it for the makeup. Super quick and easy and like out the door ready to go. That's it. Just gonna give my hair a bit of a brush. I forgot to bring a hairbrush. Can you believe it? So this brush I just got from the hotel. So I'm just gonna show you how I just, you know, spruce up my hair so it looks presentable. So I have my Water Killer Evo Dry Shampoo and I just apply this to the roots. Any of the oils that you have in your hair. So to make that curl a bit more texturized, I use the Moroccan Oil Texture Spray. I just apply this to the ends of my hair and sort of give it a little bit of a zhuzh if you want to call it. And that is why I love short hair now. It's just so easy to style and look put together when you actually aren't put together. I just finish off with a bit of a spray from Mario de Badesco from the store AU. And that just helps the makeup not look so powdery, even though I didn't apply that much powder. And there you have it. That is my holiday edition get ready with me makeup and hair 
plus what's in my travel bag. Hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a few tips and tricks for what to take on holiday with you or how to do your makeup while on holiday, how to do your hair while you're on holiday. Hope you have a safe trip and just enjoy, have fun. Make sure, you know, all these little things that do take up time, you cut down into a smaller amount of time so that you can enjoy your holiday and enjoy the surroundings that you're in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.